everyone. Thank you for providing me with the opportunity to present my working paper at the Penang International Conference on Hospitality 2023. My name is Soya Yu, and I'm a master's student in hospitality management at Iowa State University. The title of my research is The Impact of the Protection Motivation, Self-Determination Motivation, and sustainable intelligence on predicting tourist participation behavior. Plastic pollution has emerged as a significant global concern, particularly in the context of human interactions during travel. In order to promote environmental preservation and sustainable tourism, South Korea's Ministry of Environment introduced the act of the promotion of saving and recycling of resources in June 2022. This legislation aims to regulate waste generated from disposable cups and promote recycling by imposing restrictions on their use within chain cafes and restaurants. As a part of this initiative, Jeju Island has been chosen as one of the pilot cities for the implementation of this law. This selection is strategic given that Jeju Island has received global acclaim for many years and the number of tourists visiting the island is estimated 13.8 million in 2022 with a compound annual growth rate of 6.2% over the last 10 years. This study focuses on three crucial constructs. Mm -hmm. The first one is the protection motivation theory, which is a psychological framework that explains how individuals perceive and respond to threat and risk. It centers on understanding the factors influencing towards the decision to adopt risk protective behaviors to reduce or prevent negative outcomes. This theory suggests that an individual's choice to adopt protective behavior is influenced by two main components, threat appraisal and copying appraisal. Threat appraisal includes three elements, the perceived severity of the threat, vulnerability, and rewards. Copying appraisal assesses the perceived efficacy of the recommended protective behaviors, including response efficacy, self-efficacy, and response cost. Grounded in this protection motivation theory, this study will explore two potential moderating effects on participation behavior intention. Transitioning to the self-determination theory, it has been applied to various research to focus on motivation, either voluntary or self-determined to influence humans' behaviors. The self-determination theory classifies motivation into three primary types, intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, and A motivation. When individuals engage in activities purely due to their inherent satisfaction, it's intrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is driven by external factors such as rewards or social pressures. A motivation arises when an action lacks both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. In the theoretical background of this study, it's important to note that both protection motivation theory and self-determination theory are centered around the concept of motivation. Sustainable intelligence refers to an individual's capacity to integrate sustainability into their decision-making processes. So tourist sustainable intelligence can be another salient attribute in this study. While there are many several studies aimed at understanding tourist environmentally friendly behaviors, Comprehensive research investigating the combined influence of the self-determination motivation 
and sustainable intelligence on their participation behavior remains scarce. Also, there is a later research empirically analyzed the impact of the governmental regulations on the tourist participation behaviors. So this study takes an integrated approach, offering insights into tourist participation behavior intentions and contributing to the development of more effective strategies to promote sustainable tourism practices on Jeju Island. By concentrating on the global initiative that restricts the usage of disposable cups in cafes and restaurants on Jeju Island, this research aims to predict tourist intentions to engage in environmentally friendly behaviors. The specific objectives of this study are to investigate the causal relationships between threat and copying appraisals in predicting participation behavior intention through the protection motivation theory, and to identify the moderating effects of the self-determination theory and sustainable intelligence on participation behaviors. The study puts forward a total of six hypotheses. The first and second hypothesis propose that both threat and copying appraisals will positively affect tourist participation behavior intention. The third to six hypotheses explain the moderating effects. So both the self-determination theory and sustainable intelligence are anticipated to moderate the relationship between tourist overall threat and copying appraisals and their participation behavior intention, such that the relationship will be stronger when tourists highly perceive them. There are um, a total of 36 measurement items with each of the three elements in threats and copying appraisals consisting of three items. Self-determination comprises of nine items with three items each for intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, and A motivation. Sustainable intelligence is represented by four items, while participation behavior intentions will have five items. The research design will adopt a quantitative approach employing a closed-ended self-administered questionnaires with the five liquor scales. The sample size will be around 400 tourists visiting Jeju Island during the summer of 2023. Data collection will be conducted through on-site surveys on Jeju Island, and the collected data will be analyzed using structural equation modeling using either AMOS or M plus to test the hypothesis. An SPSS process will be employed to investigate the moderating effects. This study will have several expected implications. In terms of theoretical contribution, the study has the potential to assist tourists in making more informed decisions regarding their behavior by providing insights into the self-determination theory and sustainable intelligence. Regarding practical contributions, the findings of this study could help businesses in formulating more effective strategies to promote sustainable tourism practices. Furthermore, the research outcomes could contribute to enhancing the overall environment on Jeju Island, making more appealing to tourists who prioritize sustainability. Here is the list of references for this study. Thank you for your time and your attention, and I'm open to any questions or feedback you may have. Thank you.